right. Um, morning, guys. It's Richie from uh, Ball and Sports and Physio uh, Centre here. Today, we're going to run through a uh, foundation mat Pilates class. We're also going to incorporate a foam roller. So um, if you've got your foam roller at home, just have that nearby. If you haven't got a roller, um, we can do... Uh, you can make, make use of a couple of towels rolled up lengthways and we can use those. Um, you just stack the towels on top um, and we can kind of use that in, in case of a foam roller. But if you've got your foam roller nearby, just, just have that next to you. A um, couple of precautions before we get going. Just the main one is just to listen to your body. So generally we're happy for a bit of discomfort, a kind of one or two out of 10 of, um, in terms of pain, if you're feeling any neck pain or back pain or anything, hip pain. Um, if it creeps up past that to like five, six out of 10, it's probably a good idea to um, either revert back to a previous, the one the exercise before or any other exercise that we've done throughout the session. Um, today's class, we're gonna run through some spinal mobility. So just get your, your spine moving well. Um, we focus on like segmental movement there. So nice, imagine your vertebrae kind of moving one at a time and I'll explain that as we get going. Um, we then will move into sab some abdominal work. Um, just on the mat, we'll hop onto the foam roller um, and do some abdominal and uh, mobility work on that. And then we'll finish off with some glute work as well. So it should take about 45 minutes. We'll run through um, some question and answer just via the chat function at the end of the session as well. Um, and I'll talk you through um, the exercises as we go and, and why we're doing them. Um, that's about it. Uh, let's, let's get stuck into it. So I'm gonna start on the mat here and we're just, I'm gonna have a lie on my back and we're just gonna work through some deep breathing exercises. So I'm gonna pop my um, hands on my rib cage here. I'm just lying in that crook lying position. So my knees are bent, feet flat on the ground. You can either have your back flat down to the mat or a small space underneath your low back. And I'm just gonna focus on my breathing for about a minute here. So I'm breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. And we're roughly breathing in for two seconds, out for three seconds. Okay, as you breathe in, I want you to focus on expanding your lower ribs out to the sides of the room. So your hands are on your lower ribs there and we're focusing on expanding out as you breathe in. And just that nice natural recoil as you breathe out there. So what that does is just breathe right deep down into the bases of our lungs. And it also gets some nice gentle movement in through our thoracic spine as well there. Good. So we're going for about a minute here, about 10 breaths. We'll do about four or five more. In for two, out for three. Okay, coming on to your last deep breath there. Okay, from there, we're gonna pop your hands by your side and we're going to move into some gentle movement through our low back and through our pelvis. So we're doing some pelvic rocks here. What we're doing is tipping your pelvis backwards and your back starts to flatten out against the mat. And then you tip your pelvis forwards and you get a nice arch underneath your back. So you go posterior tilt and your back flattens out there and anterior tilt of your pelvis and you get the big space, that Sydney Harbour bridge almost shape under your low back there. So we're just rocking backwards into posterior tilt and rocking forwards into anterior tilt. Backwards into posterior tilt forwards into anterior tilt. So we rock backwards and our back flattens out against the mat. We tip forwards 
and we get a big space underneath our low back there. So this is a really nice exercise to do. If you wake up in the mornings like me and you're a bit stiff through your low back, just find a nice comfortable space on the ground and just do 20, 25 repetitions of this just to get your pelvis and your low back just nice and gently moving. So we're tipping back into posterior tilt there, rocking forwards into anterior tilt. Good. And we'll just go through five more here. Things should start to free up and, and move nicely as you work through these repetitions. Not as stiff through your movement. Okay, from here, we're going to turn onto your side. I'm just going to move that microphone. Now we're going to do a book open stretch here. It's a short lever book open stretch. So you've got hands behind your head rather than outside in, fr in out the front there. Hands behind your head, your fingers interlocked. You've got your hips, your knees and your ankles all stacked on top. With your elbows relaxed and your arms relaxed, that's your starting position. We're going to take a breath out as you peel that top elbow up towards the roof, back towards the wall behind you. Let your head follow your arm there and then breathe in to return. So what we're trying to do is get some movement through your thoracic spine, the middle part of your back and particularly up around your shoulder blades there. And we're trying to stay fairly still through your hips, through your knees, through your ankles. So we're not opening up as we, as we uh, move into that stretch. Breath out as you open up there. Breath in to return. So we're just gradually working into our range here with each repetition. Going a little bit further each time. That elbow opens up, your head follows your arm to that book open position and then folding back over. And we're going for about 15 each side. Again, this is a really good one if we're working at our desk at home and we're getting a bit stiff around our shoulder blades up into our neck. Just pop down into that side lying position and, and go through 15 each side. Breath in. Breath out as you open up there. Again, try to keep our hips stacked on top so we're not opening up through your hips at all. Okay, we'll go through two more on this side. And last one there. Excellent. I'm going to hop up the other end of the mat. You can either do the same or you can spin onto your other side. Um, either way, this time I was opening up through my right there. I'm now going to open up through my left-hand side. Okay, so relaxing down there. Breath open as you peel that top elbow up and back towards the wall. And breath in to return. Breath out. Head follows your arm, your hips stay stacked on top. And breath in to return. Again, we're going through about 10 to 15 reps each side. Breath out, open up, let, let your head follow your arm. And breath in to return. And again, I'm just gradually working a little bit further into range as we go. We'll go through about four or five more on this side. And my back's start, starting to loosen up and feel a bit better. It's moving well. It was a bit stiff and sore at the start. And we'll just go through the last one. 
Excellent work. Okay. I'm just going to head back up to the top of my mat here. We're now going to go into all four. So on your um, hands and knees, I've got my wrists directly under my shoulders. My knees are under my hips. And we're going to work through a cat-cow stretch. So to start that, I'm tucking my head down towards my chest and starting to round out into that cat position. And then from my tailbone first, I'm moving back into some spinal extension or that cow or camel position. Tuck the head down and round out one segment at a time into that cat position. Move my tailbone first and flowing into some spinal extension there. Tuck the head down, round out into the cat. Move the tailbone first and flow back up into that cow or camel position. So you want to try to imagine like a wave rolling up and down your back as you move here from one spinal segment or vertebrae at a time. Move the head and neck first, round out one at a time into that cat position and then back up the other way. So again, we're going through about 15 repetitions here. You can gradually work further into that range of extension there and flexion in the cat position as you go, as you feel comfortable. We'll go through two more here. And last one. Okay, from here, we're going to stay in four point near. We're going to work on a rock back. So what you're going to do is find your halfway position between your cat and your cow. So it's where you've got like it's just a slight um, arch in your back or curve in your back. You're not rounded out and you're not in extreme extension, extension there. So just that mid range point between your cat and your cow. I want you to hold that position as you just rock your bottom back towards your heels and then come back up to that starting position. So keep your, try and keep your back in that same nice neutral spine as you rock back your bottom towards your heels. Now the idea here is we're getting some movement through your hips and try not to move through your back at all. So it's a disassociation between your hips and your low back. So it's called a, a four point kneel rock back, this exercise. And again, we'll go through about 15 of these. So keeping our back in that nice neutral spine, rock the bottom back towards your heels and then come back up. And you should just notice movement through your hips as you come up into a flex position there and then open back up to a more neutral position there. Again, the focus is on moving the bottom back towards your heel. So going into some hip flexion without rounding out through your back at all, keeping your back in that same neutral spine. And we'll go through two more. Excellent. From there, we're going to reach out into a prayer stretcher or a child's pose. So we've got uh, bottom back towards your heels, arms in front. I hope you can hear me through the microphone here, just my t-shirts in the way there. But we're just going to hold this stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds. Just really opening up through our erector muscles that run up and down our spine. They also get a bit short and tight when we're sitting down a lot at the desk or on the couch. So we're just going to hold that position for about 20 to 30 seconds. Just breathe into that stretch. Okay, and you can come out of that one now. All right, at this point, our last spinal mobility exercise, we're going to do a thread the needle so you can grab your foam roller at this point. 
You can still do this one if you haven't got a foam roller. Again, we're going to be in a four-point kneel position. I've got my um, right hand firmly down on the mat there. I'm going to start with my left hand up towards the roof. I'm going to pull that one down underneath um, my trunk there and then let the arm roll through onto the roller, roll back, peel up towards the roof. So it's a thread the needle, the arm comes down, threads between the arm and the body, good. And you can let your head and neck roll down with that arm towards the mat. So again, we're working on some spinal mobility here. As you roll through, let that hand push through on the roller and then just peel back up towards the roof. And again, we'll work through about 10 to 15 repetitions here, targeting that middle part of our back again. Another one you can do throughout the day if you're sitting at your desk working from home. Just notice working a little bit further into range with each repetition. And we'll go through about two or three more. Don't mind, Andrew's just doing some acrobatics, trying to creep in and out of the room here, if you can hear that. Okay, last one on this side. All right. I'm going to spin up the other end of the mat. You can swap arms if you like, just by moving the roller. Okay, so this time I've got my left hand on the mat. My right arm's peeling up towards the roof. I'm reaching down between my body and my left arm, rolling through, coming back in, peeling that arm up towards the roof there. You can breathe in if you peel up towards the roof there, breathe out as you come down and thread the needle to, to lay that breathing in. Again, just working a little bit further each time. The focus of this one is thoracic mobility, so rotation through that middle part of our back. You also get a nice stretch through your shoulder muscles, your Rotator cuff muscles as you reach long with your right arm onto the roller. Again, about 10 to 15 repetitions each side. And we'll go one more after this. So last two. Okay, excellent work. All right, we're gonna move on to our foam roller section now. So a little bit of mobility and some abdominal work. We're gonna start with your bottom down one end, your head up the other, and the roller is just running straight up and down your spine there. And we're just into that crucifix or cross lying position. Let your arms and shoulders relax. Your arms just relax onto the ground beside you. And again, we're just into some deep breathing here. So breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. In for two seconds, out for three seconds. So here we're just getting some nice extension through our thoracic spine, that middle part of our back that gets a bit stiff in flex positions when we're working at computers or in the car. In for two, out for three. As you breathe in, again, we're focused on pushing those ribs out to the sides of the room. Getting some nice expansion and breathing deep down into the base of our lungs. Breath out and the natural recoil of our lungs to that starting position. Let's just go three more breaths. Okay. 
start to work into our core work and mobility here. We're going to go arms straight up in front of you and you just notice you have to work through your low tummy there a little bit, find a nice connection to the ground through your feet just to keep your balance. Okay, again with our breathing, we're, we're going to go a breath out as you lower your arms all the way over your head. And breathe in to return. Breath out as you go over your head. And breathe in to return. Focus on nice, smooth, controlled movement. Reach nice and long as you get to that top position there. And then breathe in to return. So as your arms reach all the way over your head, reach nice and long there. And breathe in to return. Try and keep your ribs down so we're not flared up through our ribs here. Breath out as you go over your head. Breath in to return there. Good. So we're getting some nice mobility through our shoulders here. Some nice extension through our thoracic spine. And also a little bit of core work just to maintain your balance in this position. Again, work through about 20 of these. You can do any of these mobility exercises every single day if you like, a couple of times a day. Breath out as you reach along there, breath in to return. And we'll go through two more. And last one. Excellent work. Okay, from here, we're going to start to get into some tummy work. Hands by your side, the further out they are, the easier it will be, the closer in, the harder it will be. So you just want to find a nice position that is challenging but controlled. Okay, from here, we're just going to start to do some knee floats. So we just draw our low tummy in slightly to stabilize, float your right knee up towards that table tish, tabletop position and then lower back down. And we just alternate between the left and the right there. Breath out as you lift up. Breath in to return. Just nice smooth controlled movement. Keep those low tummy muscles on just to stabilize things here. Try not to feel too heavy through your legs and through your hip flexors. Just think of floating those knees up to that can, up to that tabletop position. We're going through about 20 of these knee floats. Just feel those tummy muscles turn on there. Breath out as you lift up. Breath in to return. Excellent. Let's go through four more here. So two more on each side. Excellent. Okay. From there, we're going to progress that into an up, up, down, down movement. So I'm going to go right leg up, left leg up, and then right leg down, left leg down. Again, Want to try and make these as smooth and controlled as possible and keep those tummy muscles torn on and turned on there to stabilize things. Just feel those lower abdominals start to work. Again, if you find that challenging, just put your arms further out, closer into the roller will be harder for you. Up, up and down, down. So we'll go through 10 of these. That's three or four. Floating up to tabletop and then gently lowering back down. Keep those tummy muscles turned on. Just that draw in of those lower abdominals to stabilize things. Okay, let's go through three more here. Excellent. 
And last one. Okay, just pop your feet down, give your abs and your hip flexors a rest for a moment. The last exercise in this little series, we're going to start from that tabletop position. We're just going to alternate toe touches. So you can come up to that tabletop there and just go breath out as you lower down. And we can just alternate between that left and right leg, coming up to that tabletop position, then lowering back down. We're going through about 20 here. Just nice, smooth, controlled movement. Breath out as you lower down. Breath in to return. Good. Let's go through six more here. Five. Four, three, two, and last one. Excellent work. Okay, we're just going to roll off the roller there and finish off with a little bit more mobility on the foam roller. So we're going to pop the roller across your back now. We're going to find three segments in your thoracic spine, so that middle part of your back. The first one is going to be your lower rib level and you're going to have your hands behind your head. Just bend your knees up in that crook lying position and we're going to go breath out as we just bend backwards over the roller, just getting some nice extension through your thoracic spine and then just coming back up to that starting position. So I've got my hands behind my neck, I'm supporting my neck, I don't want to be bending too much through my neck. I also don't want to be bending too much through my lower back or my lumbar spine. So it's trying to keep it all between here and here. Just to bend back over the roller and coming back up to that starting position. So we're just going to go through about 10 extensions or bending back at three different levels. So this is the first one, which is down near our lower ribs. Okay, and next one, we're going to roll that roller just up to the bottom of my shoulder blades. So it's about halfway up our thoracic spine or halfway up our rib cage there. Breath out as you bend back over the roller and breath in to return. And again, we're just getting some nice extension mobility through our thoracic spine here, some nice bending back just to counteract how much time we're spending sitting down at computers or on the couch at the moment. It's fairly passive movement, so I just bend back over the roller and then just come up to that starting position. So it's a bit like a reverse sit up almost. And we'll go three more at this level. Okay, last one, just roll that roller up to the top of our shoulder blades now. So we're right up the top of our middle part of our back there. And just arching back over the roller and we'll just go through 10 here. You might notice a few little cracks, that's fine. And we'll just go for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Okay, let's pop our roller out of the way. We're finished with that for now. We're just going to have a line on mat. We'll do one little um, series through our upper abdominals, and then we'll finish off with our glute work. So for our upper abdominals, we're just in that nice crook lying position again. You can think about having a blueberry stuck under your low back. We're gonna go hands behind your head, fingers interlocked. And we're going to do a, like a modified sit up or a curl up. So we're basically going to do a, a, an abdominal crunch or sit up to uh, our, about the bottom of our rib cage there. So we're not curling all the way up into a sit up and I'll show you what I mean there. The idea is that our 
lumbar spine, our low back stays in that relatively neutral position. So we don't bend through much uh, through there at all. Breath out as you just curl up into that curl up position and breath in to return. So what I want you to think about is that breath out and drawing your ribs down low and then curling up to that end position there and then breathe in to return. Draw down, curl up. And you should notice your abdominal muscles turn on and start to do some work. You might notice a little bit of a shake there but we're not getting a whole lot of movement through our lumbar spine or our low back, which is what we're after. Okay, so we're gonna go through about 15 of these. Breath out, draw the ribs down, curl up. Breathe in to return. Breath out, ribs down, curl up. Breathe in to return. Your hands are supporting your neck here. And we'll go through four more. Okay, excellent work. Now we're just going to add in some oblique work. So what we're going to do there is curl up first and then rotate elbow across to knee then back down. So breath out, curl up, lift elbow across the right knee, back to the center and down. So I want you to focus on curling up first, then reaching across, back to the middle and back down. So we'll go through about 15 to 20 of these. Curl up, rotate across, back to the center, then down. Breath out, curl up, reach across, back to the middle, and down. Breath out, curl up, reach across, back to the middle, and down. And that should be just starting to work those abdominal muscles now. And let's keep going here for seven six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Just have a lie back, just rock your knees from side to side or hug your knees to your chest. Just give those abdominals a nice rest. You can just do a few rolls through your pelvis there or hug your knees to your chest and a few rolls both ways. Okay, so we've ticked off our abdominals there. We're gonna to start to work into our glutes to finish off. To start off with, Hands by your side, feet flat on the mat. We're just going to rock our pelvis back and start to peel up into that rolling bridge or that articulating bridge. Once you're up the top, just find that tuck of the tailbone underneath and a roll back down. Really scoop your tummy as you roll down there. Tip your pelvis forward to get your tailbone to touch. Rock the pelvis back, start to peel up. Hips up towards the roof, find that tuck of the tailbone under there and then rolling back down. We're going through about 10 to 15 of these rolling bridges. Again, the idea here is we roll up and down one segment at a time, that nice spinal mobility. Also getting some nice glute work to peel up, lift the hips up towards the roof, tuck that tailbone under at the top, and then roll back down. Really scoop your tummy as you roll up and down just to accentuate that spinal movement. Rocking forward to get your tailbone to touch there. Rocking backwards, start to peel up towards the roof. 
Okay, we're going to do two more. On the second one, we're going to hold at that top position. Okay, so we're holding up the top there. We've got that tuck of the tailbone under. And then we're just going to hinge down to halfway and then extending back up. So just some glute activation work here. Drop down to halfway. Squeeze your bottom muscles to extend back up. Hinge down and back up. So we'll go through 10 of these pulses. And we'll work for five, four, three, two, and last one. Excellent work. Okay, we're going to spin onto your side now. I've got my hand resting on my left arm there, or left hand. My right hand is on my hip, and we're gonna work into our um, glute meter, our side glute muscles here. I've got my thumb at the back of my hip, which is over that area that I wanna be working. I wanna stay nice and relaxed where my fingers are at the front of my hip there. I'm gonna straighten that leg down directly beneath me or slightly behind me, not in front. And we're just going to raise and lower that leg up into a side leg lift. So my heel is slightly pointing up towards the roof. My toes are slightly pointing down. That leg is directly underneath me. And I can feel my muscles where my thumb is at the back of my hip, they're doing all the work, which is what we want. So we're going through about 15 here. Just nice, smooth, controlled movement. That leg is coming up to about 30 degrees and lowering just down below hip height. Okay, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Just pop that down for a moment. We're just giving that a quick rest. Then we're into some figure eights. So we're just drawing some smooth controlled figure eights with our heel. They don't have to be big. Just try and make them nice, smooth, controlled figure eights. We'll go through about 10 of those. And you should just feel those muscles in the back of your hip start to fatigue bit of a burn in through there. And again, we'll work for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Pop that leg down. Just give it a rest for a second. Last one for our glute mead. We're going to take that leg up to that hip height position again. We're just going to sweep the leg forward into a kick motion and then back underneath us. Sweeping forward. Again, just nice smooth controlled movement. The idea is you try and keep your ankle, your knee and your hip all at the same height here. Sweeping forward and then back underneath us. We're going for about 10 repetitions here again. So let's work here for five, four, three, two, and last one. Excellent work. Um, last exercise on this side, we're just gonna go into a clamp, so those deep external hip rotators. We've got your heels roughly in line with your tailbone, your knees and hips all stacked together. We're just peeling that knee apart, the ankles stay together. And we're going through about 10 to 15 repetitions each side here. Just nice smooth controlled movement, just bringing that knee just above hip height and then gently lowering back down. Should feel that one working deep into the back of your hip joint there. And again, we'll work for five, four, three, two, and last one. Excellent work. Just give that glute a bit of a shake, a bit of a pat. 
We're going to swap sides there again. So I'm just going to jump, jump up to the other end of the mat. Okay, I'm lying on my right side now. And I've got my left hand on my hip. My thumb is at the back of my hip and my fingers are at the front. Through these hip exercises, I want to try and remain nice and relaxed through the front of my hip where my fingers are. I don't want to be working at the back of my hip where my thumb is. Okay, again, we're just going to straighten that leg directly underneath us there. Lead with the heel, we're going to raise and lower. Just nice, smooth, controlled movement. Up about 30 degrees. And then lowering just down below hip height. Going through about 15 repetitions here. So this is working your glute med muscle, glute medius muscle. Really important stabiliser when we're running, walking, up and down stairs. Anytime you're standing on one leg. And we'll work here for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Just pop that down for a moment. Next up is our figure eights. So we just take that leg down underneath this again. We're just drawing smooth, controlled figure eights. I'm drawing them with my heel, which is slightly turned up towards the roof. Toes are slightly down. We're just going through 10 of these figure eights. They don't have to be big. Just try and make them nice and smooth and controlled. Okay, let's work here for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work, pop that down, give it a bit of a shake. Mine's really burning in there now, which is good. Okay, last one in this little series. We're going to straighten the leg down at hip height. You're just sweeping forwards into a forward kick motion and then back underneath us, sweep forwards into that kick motion, back underneath us. Again, trying to keep that knee, ankle and hip all at the same height. Again, try and think of this idea of um, disassociation between our hip and our low back. So even though our hip is moving forwards and backwards there, try not to move too much through your lumbar spine or through your low back. And we're just working nice and hard underneath your thumb there where your hip muscles are at the back. And we'll just go for five, four, three, two, and last one there. Excellent. To finish off, we're just going to go into some clams. So your knees, your hips, your ankles all stacked on top. Your heels are roughly in line with your tailbone. We're just going to give your ankles a squeeze. Your knees come apart there. And then just gently lowering back down. So just nice, smooth, controlled movement here. The knees coming up just above hip height there. And then just lowering back down towards that other knee. And we'll go through about 10 to 15 here to finish off. We'll have a quick stretch of our glutes and then we can do some question and answer just on the chat function on Zoom. So your last bit of glute work here. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Excellent work. All right, to finish off, just spin onto your back there. We'll just have a quick stretch of our glutes. Popping your ankle onto your opposite knee. And then you can pull that ankle down your leg as you need to feel that stretch into the back of your hip. You can also push that knee um, down towards the floor there just to get a bit more of a stretch. If you really want to, you can reach forward and grab um, your leg and your knee, pull that towards your chest. And we just hold that one for about 20 to 30 seconds. Nice stretch in the back of your hip there. Just breathe into that stretch. 
Go hold that one for five more seconds. Okay, we're just going to swap sides there. So my right uh, ankle is on my left knee. And then I'm just sliding that right ankle down my thigh as I need to feel more stretch. I can also push my right knee just down towards the floor there. And if I really want to, I can reach forward and grab my left knee and pull that towards my chest. But I'm pretty happy with that one just there. Again, we're holding that one for about 20 to 30 seconds. Just breathing into that stretch. And we'll just hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. All right, that's all our work done for today. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.